What is up bros and brats? I'm Ink Slasher and today we're going to be doing something very different on this channel. Normally when I make this type of videos it's talking about the top 5 best weapons in Black Ops 3 or whatever Call of Duty game we're talking about and I've made many of those because when certain patches come out they ch kind of change what weapons are the best weapons in the meta. Now throughout most of the game I would say most of the weapons that were bad have been the same but it has definitely changed and what we're going to be looking at today is the 5 worst weapons in Black Ops 3. Why? Well it'll give you some weapons to just kind of stay away from when you're trying to do well. Now this is going to be somewhat based on personal preference because certain people like certain weapons more than others for different reasons here and there and you'll see exactly what I mean by that as we go through these weapons but what I'd like to see is down in the comment section below leave a list of the five worst weapons in your opinion. They could actually be the best weapons in the game but in your opinion they suck. I want to hear your opinion down in the comment section just because more than anything I'm just curious and I always love to hear what you guys have to say but with Without further ado, let's get into talking about the five worst weapons in Black Ops 3. And just to let you know, they're not really in any specific order. I think number one is the worst, but you, I may be totally wrong in saying that. And by the way, what I did for all five of these weapons, they are not secondary weapons, they are all primary weapons, and I took one weapon from each class. So you'll see one assault rifle, that's the worst in the game, SMG, LMG, sniper rifle, and shotgun. You'll see all of them and what the worst one in each class is. So without further ado, Let's get into looking at the five worst weapons in Black Ops 3. So coming in at number five, and this is the one that I think most people will disagree with, but to me, if it was all up to me and I wasn't including stats in this one at all, this one would be number one on the list. It would be the worst weapon in the game by far, but it's not, I'm going to add some stats into here to kind of back up my opinion, and this is the ICR. Now, the ICR-1 is a really bad weapon, and I know why people like it. A lot of people like it because it's super easy to use. It has very low recoil, and it's very easy to control recoil, which makes it really easy to pick people off at long ranges. However, even though it's easy to aim at people, it doesn't mean it's good at actually killing people. In fact, it's very bad at actually killing people. And the reason why I know this is because the time to kill on it is absolutely atrocious. Up close, if you're standing right next to an enemy, the time to kill is 0.3 seconds. Eventually, when the damage drops off, you're looking at 0.4 seconds. Just as a comparison, if you're using a weapon like the XR2, um, the XR2 can drop someone in 0.14 seconds. So less than half the amount of time it takes for the ICR-1 to actually kill someone, which is just unforgivable. It has such a slow time to kill. But the question is, why does it have such a slow time to kill? And it's a combination of two things. So first of all, let's look at its damage. So the damage profile is 30 damage up close, 29 at mid-range, and 22 at long range. Now, this isn't uncommon. A lot of assault rifles actually have this damage profile. You got the ICR-1, the HVK-30, and the FFAR, and also on top of that, the Peacekeeper Mark II. The reason why the I ICR is actually so bad is that it doesn't really have any forgiving stats. And if we look at the um, fire rate, the fire rate doesn't help its case either, because the fire rate is only 600 RPM, whereas if you look at the HVK or the FFAR, the HVK has 722 RPM with the exact same damage profile. The FFAR has a 800 fire rate, so 200 RPM faster with the exact same damage profile. And on top of that, there's really no forgiving stats. The only thing is, is it's really accurate. It's really easy to aim with. However, even if you can aim at someone really well, it doesn't help if the weapon kills them incredibly, incredibly slow. So that's why the ICR is number five. Five. So coming in at number four, and in my opinion, the most interesting gun on this list is the Gorgon. Now, the reason why I find this one so interesting is because at the beginning of the game, when Black Ops 3 originally came out, I went ahead and said that the Gorgon was one of the best, if not the best weapon in the game. And to this date, I stand by that at the time of the game's release. Throughout the game, this gun has got nerfed and nerfed and nerfed to the point where I think it's literally one of the worst weapons in the game. But here's why. So first of all, the Gorgon has a really amazing time to kill. It's time to kill is 0.183 seconds however it does drop off to 0.366 seconds but it drops off at 125 meters you are never going to be getting into gunfights that are that long so at almost every single range in the game you have an awesome time to kill at 0.183 seconds however the things that they nerfed on this weapon are unforgivable so the main reason why this weapon has such a good time to kill is its damage profile it does 59 damage up to 125 meters so that's why that awesome time to kill 
still exists. However, the stats that suck include so many different things, one of which is the magazine size. The magazine size is only 40. If we look at other weapons of the class, they have upwards of 80 bullets, which is absolutely insane. On top of that, you have a really long reload time. So with a small magazine and a long reload time, that's bad. I believe the reload time is 6.75 seconds. So going through 40 bullets, you then all of a sudden have to wait seven seconds to actually reload the weapon. However, the main things that were nerfed on this weapon throughout the game were the aim down sights time and the sprint out time. So the sprint Sprinto time isn't actually horrible for it, but the thing is, is if you can fire bullets, the hip spread on this weapon is absolutely massive. So the sprint out time is actually pretty normal at 0.3 seconds. However, the aim down sights time is 0.55 seconds. When this originally came out, when this game originally came out, you were looking at a 0.3 second aim down sights time with a weapon that could kill someone in 0.183 seconds. So it had one of the best aim down sights times, and on top of that, one of the best time to kill. So that made it incredibly powerful. However, now you have a really bad hip spread at eight inches, which is almost as big as sniper rifles, and that's at a minimum. It's 12 inches at a maximum, whereas most of the other LMGs have a hip spread of five inches at a minimum and eight at a maximum. So it's like way way bigger of a hip spread, takes way longer to aim down sights, and because of that, it is just very difficult to use this weapon because of that long aim down sights time, really large hip spread, and also not a great sprint out time. So all of that put together makes it just so hard to use, even though it has a good time to kill. This next one's going to be another one that I know people actually do like, and it's the HG-40. However, the HG-40 kind of goes along the same lines of the ICR. It has a really, really bad time to kill. So up close, you're looking at a 0.232 second time to kill, which for an SMG is very, very slow. But then at 11.5 meters, it drops off to 0.348 seconds, which is a really long time. But then at 31.2 meters, you're looking at a 0.464 time to kill, which is the slowest out of any of the time to kills we've looked at so far. Arguably, you could put the Weevil in the place of the HG-40 on this list, but the thing is, after 12 meters, the Weevil actually has a better time to kill at every single range after 12 meters. The thing is, is up to 12 meters, the HG-40 has a better time to kill than it. The problem with the HG-40 is what they were going for was a good three-bullet kill range. However, it just doesn't have a good three-bullet kill range. You can only get that three-bullet kill range up to those 12 meters, and then after that, the gun is pretty much useless because the uh, time to kill drops off to over 0.3 seconds, which is a very long time, and that's why it's on this list. Up next, at number two, we've got a sniper rifle, and this one could arguably be number one. However, I do think this weapon truly is horrible, not because of the stats itself on the weapon, because there's so many other weapons in the game with such similar stats that are just way better than it. So this weapon is the Draken. So this weapon is a one-shot kill to the head and neck and everywhere else on the body, a two-bullet kill. This is what makes it bad, because there's other weapons like this in the game. The MX Grand and the Shiva are both one-shot kills to the head if you're using high caliber and two-hit kills to the bodies. The reason why the MX Grand and Shiva are so much better than the Draken are because they actually have aim assist. Yes, there is aim assist on the Draken, but it's almost negligible. There is next to none. It is there, and in the game code, there is aim assist on the weapon, but there is so little aim assist on the weapon compared to the Shiva and compared to the MX Grand. And because of that, the MX Grand and Shiva are the exact same weapons with better fire rates, with aim assist, and even with better reload times. So you might as well just use the MX Grand and Shiva over the Draken. The Draken just a worse version of both of those weapons. And at number one, we've got our shotgun of the list. We have the Banshee. Now, this one is on here because the other weapons in the class are actually pretty good. You got the Broccoli Gun. You got the Haymaker, which is just the worst version of the Broccoli Gun. You got the KRM, and you got the Argus. And the Argus, I think, is actually pretty good. The KRM isn't as good, but the problem with the Banshee is that it's a projectile weapon and not a hit scan weapon. All the other shotguns are hit scan weapons, which means it doesn't really take time for the bullets to 
to get to the person you're shooting at. Whereas the Banshee, it does take time for this like laser energy projectile to actually get to the person you're shooting at. The problem is, is that this projectile moves so slowly that if they're over like 15 meters in game, you can just dodge it. And if you see someone using the Banshee, what I suggest is just strafing side to side and it's very easy to dodge this weapon. This is why you very rarely see people using the Banshee, even though they've got it through supply drops. It's because it's very difficult to use, and half the time I kill someone with it, I just put it out there as luck and say that's why I killed the person, because really, it is luck. It is possible to get the one-shot kills at any range, which is nice, but it's almost impossible at extreme long ranges. And even more than that, the person can actually dodge the shot and see it coming. So for those reasons, I really do think it's the worst weapon in the game. But like I said, I may be wrong. You can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I think this is the only video I've seen anyone make like this about Black Ops 3. It's the only one I could find. So if you could leave a like rating, that would be really, really awesome. It always helps out the channel. And thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you can always check out my Twitch, Twitter, and second channel down in the description. But like I said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, peace out. Yeah!